and hello there. This is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and um, I want to welcome you to my kitchen again, or at least my kitchen counter. Um, today, I am looking at some mangoes that I talked about in a previous video that I will put at the end of this where I made a um, salad, chicken salad with fruit and I put mangoes in it and I talked about the fact that I had gone to the store and they had mangoes for four dollar. Well I bought a lot of mangoes and I needed to figure out what I wanted to do. Well I've made fruit salad and I had that chicken salad and I've eaten mangoes on its own and I said I've got to do something else and so I decided well how about a sorbet or how about an ice cream or how about something in between I have an ice cream maker I don't feel like pulling it out because my ice cream maker requires me to go buy ice and you know, do the whole ice cream maker thing. So I decided that I'm going to do this the way that my mother did it and and I did it in younger years where I'm just going to mix it up. I'm going to put it in the freezer, partially freeze it, come and stir it up again and every so often go in the freezer and stir it up until I get a nice icy mixture. So I went into a couple of cookbooks, I went in a couple with um, my dessert cookbooks and so on and yeah, there was nothing really, <laughs> with, not with, with mangoes, but papaya and pineapple and strawberries and raspberries and all of those kinds of things, but nothing with mangoes. And so, I just decided that I'm going to deal with these mangoes. And so there's a couple of cookbooks I looked at. Now, I think I've told you before I am a cookbook person. So this one is called Simply Delicious Cooking 2 by Ron Kellenook. I'll look and see if it's available on Amazon and give you a link. Now, in the back, it really doesn't talk about sorbets or ice cream, but I did find a fresh papaya sorbet recipe. That was one. Another cookbook I found was this one, Dessert Lover's Cookbook. I told you I got all kinds. I got more dessert cookbooks, but I pulled out these two. This is more than 200 spectacular recipes with step-by-step -step color photographs. Mm. Except the one that I picked didn't have it. This one said pina colada sherbet, or there's fresh strawberry ice, there's honey melon sherbet. Now this one called for two egg whites for the honey melon sh sherbet, and I went nah. And they all call for an ice cream machine, so we're, we're, we're this is going to be able so you don't need an ice cream machine. And so the pina colada sherbet and the fresh papaya sorbet caught my interest. Now this one, the pina colada calls for sugar, three cups of water, one medium fresh pineapple, pineapple juice, a can of cream of coconut, light rum. I went, okay. The papaya sorbet called for sugar and water, lemon juice, and the papaya. So what I'm going to determine first, let me get my cutting board out. What I'm going to determine first is how much I have in mangoes. So, 
I'm going to peel the mangoes because that's going to determine how much water I'm going to need, how much sugar I'm going to need, how much, you know, what I'm going to need. So I'm going to do a combo of these two recipes. I'm going to, I'm going to use coconut milk, some lemon juice, regular white sugar. I've got cane sugar, but I don't. And this one calls for light rum. Well, I went in my, I've got rum, but I've got this vanilla cream. I bought in, where did I buy this? Mexico? So I've got all kinds of liqueurs in my cupboard. I was, I looked at the um, liqueur. It's a cherry liqueur that I use to make um, fondue. You can you, you use that. Um, Kurzweiler is the German pronunciation for it. And um, okay, the end of this has a little problem. So let me get these cut up and then I'll come back and we will, I'll see how much mango I have. Yeah, they are juicy. I'm going to keep all this juice. Woo. I've come up with is three cups of mangoes. All right, we're going to take a quick break from the mangoes and we are going to make our simple syrup, mainly because it needs to go into the, into the refrigerator and cool off before we add it to our mango mix. Okay, so here I have my sugar and my water. Half cup of sugar, half cup of water, and it is on the stove to boil. Okay. And what that is, is it's going to de develop a syrup. And then I'm going to let the syrup cool down before I add it to the mangoes. So when you're using coconut milk, make sure that you shake it before you hit the, shake it up before you start opening it. I had to put my thumb over this and, and start shaking it up so that I could um, access it. All right, so let me get the other half of this. The sugar water is in the refrigerator um, getting cold. Get my sugar out of the way because I've used that already. Okay, so combining these two recipes, so the Sorbet is the sugar, water, lemon juice, and papaya. The pina colada is sugar, water, the pineapple, coconut, and cream of cream of coconut and light rum. And it's one can of cream of coconut. So that's eight and a half ounces. Well, this is 14 ounces. So that's a smaller can. So I'm just going to pull eight ounces, okay? So one cup of cream of coconut. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I did a little bit of blending, but so I've got eight ounces of coconut milk in here. It was three cups of mangoes. Because this is bright, you know, I want to make sure and see if it will stay bright. 
So with the sorbet for the papaya, it calls for three tablespoons of lemon juice and three tablespoons of lime juice. I'm just going to put in three tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. Now remember, coconut milk and the, the mangoes are sweet, the coconut milk is sweet. So all of those are, are sweet. This vanilla cream is also sweet. Um, and so it, the one recipe calls for a quarter cup of light rum. So I'm going to do you know and vanilla is um, dark. So this is vanilla cream. Let me Oh yeah. Very strong vanilla. So we put that in there. Yes, it'll brown it up just a little bit. So I got a little bit of booze in here. And the cream of coconut and now I'm going to put this on low to get it started okay so I have had put this on high and I've got it on on what's called the um, ice drink so it's got an ice drink and a milkshake one but this was on ice drink because I wanted it to be absolutely smooth and it is smooth but I still have to add the and it's thick. Still have to add the sugar water to it. So I'm going to pull the sugar water out of the refrigerator because it's been sitting in there getting really cold. And then we'll add that to it and mix. It. And the great thing about this has been I left it in the metal bowl, so it got colder faster. So I'm just going to pour it in. Yeah. You know, sugar syrup, you can make it and have it in a refrigerator so you can make drinks. You can use it for different dishes that call for a syrup. And when I was learning, when I was in pastry class, the mixture is normally one to one. I'm going to start this out on low. <laughs> where you can take and put it and use your ice cream machine or your yogurt maker or any of your machines that you use in order to make ice cream. Me, I've got this glad plastic container. Oh, and I tasted it while you were off. While we were off, you were off screen. Did it while you were off screen. And it is good. Guess I should get the scraper. So make sure that when you're doing this, that everything is purely Sorry, uh, just that camera. It's like, you know, I had to be tall for the blender, but now we're done on the grain. So put it in here. And yes, my freezer is always full. So I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to put this in the freezer. 
add in about 30 minutes. I'm going to go pull it out and I'm going to stir it up and then I'll put it back in the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour and stir it up. So if you've got an ice cream maker freezing thing, then it'll be much easier for you to make it. Like I said, I'm not pulling out my ice cream maker because then I have to go to the store and, and get uh, ice. Okay, about 45 minutes have passed and you can see, make sure you can see it. So you can see it's kind of trying to freeze along the edges. So I'm just gonna Stir it up. And I think it'll take, put it in here for another hour and then come back. And go through the process of stirring it again. So another 45 minutes or so has gone by. Got some of this on the lid. So yes, if you use the ice cream machine, this will be so much easier. But if you don't have ice cream machine, this means that you can go ahead and make your own. Freeze into the edge. So I'm just going down deep. Catch it because it's going to freeze from the outside in. Okay, so we're making sure it gets really cold. And the ice cream machine will probably take about an hour to get it to the frozen state. Say so, hey, back in the freezer for an hour. Okay, here we are. It's approximately four hours. I've been moving and stirring. And like I said, if you've got an ice cream mixer, this will get done in about a half an hour because you've got a machine that's doing the turning for you. But this is soft. Now, when I leave it in the freezer overnight, this will definitely get hard. But I'm going to try some of this now. And it's nice and cold. And I'm going to take a little bit. Put it in my cup. Well, I'm going to take a little more than a little bit. Put it in my cup. Close this up. Put it back in the freezer. Because I'm not quite ready to eat a full amount yet. Alright, so kind of ugly right but let's see what it tastes like mmm and it's creamy it's sweet it's cold it's not as creamy as it would have been if I had used a my ice cream maker been able to have it stirring on a continuous basis with the ice and around it. But this is good. So it's like three cups of mangoes, a cup of coconut milk, the uh, sugar syrup, which was um, half a cup of sugar, 
quarter cup of water, melt it down to um, boiling till the sugar dissolved and put it in the refrigerator so it could get cold before I added it. I did the vanilla liqueur. You can do just plain vanilla. So I had a quarter of a cup of the vanilla liqueur. I don't think if you were using vanilla you could do that or you could try some other type of liqueur. Cherry, peach, there's no mango liqueur. <laughs> orange so a different kind of flavor but the vanilla is working really well okay let me know if you tried this you know this was a way of using up my mangoes and now i've got a dessert that'll probably last me a month or so because i don't eat dessert that often this is beverly fells jones the silver fox of consciousness if you like this please give me a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please subscribe hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And as you have believed, let it be done to you. And it is so. And I will see you in the next video.